Save 22 is all about veteran and first responder suicide and being there before it even happens. Right, right. So typically we find people that are struggling, usually it's addiction, alcohol, marital, money. Right. And then just start spiraling. Right. So we try to get them before they spiral out of control. And then we have programs set up throughout the country. Right. Art therapy, um, horseback riding, golf, motorsports, fishing, just something to keep your head right. busy. Which is which is good. Yeah. 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 And we're finding more and more first responders because they deal with it daily. Right. And it does relate to military because you do see things in military that you can't put away. Right. You do things that are unmentionable that you really don't want to talk about. Right. And put them away for decades, which is me. Um, then you get the first responders, including coroners, which you don't think about. Right. You know, see every day. People, yeah. And, and people don't realize that, especially with emergency services, is they have to reset like that. Right. And, and you know, people don't realize how hard that is or almost impossible that is. Right. So I get that. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, the name comes from the statistic. It yeah. does. Right. Okay. Does. Um, which... I well aware of, yeah. um, and uh, you know I like the fact that saves in there. That's that's amazing. So, so give me a little more background. Like how long? Like when did you guys start up? Uh, how long have you been? I'm going to keep going. Or you yeah, like, what, yeah, whoever, yeah, yeah, I, I love, I love this. So we Day started. One. We started in sixteen. Yep. Um, give me a second. I want to make sure. I'm good. All good. All good. <laughs> <laughs> right after I committed suicide. Gotcha. Um, I'm an addict. I was on pills, right? Chasing it with liquor, right? Um, probably had he not called me, I'm not saying I wouldn't be here. I probably wouldn't be the person I am, right? Um, so that's why it's so important for me. And then working through this, you get these close connections, um, and unfortunately, you can't save them all, right? And that's the part that. I'm tired of watching these young kids that they don't know what to do. Right. They don't. They know that they don't know what to do with the anger. They don't know what to do with the isolation. They don't know what to do with the I don't belong here, I don't fit here. And that's for me, that's why I do what I do. Sadly, they only get equipped for half the battle. Correct. And that's kind of what we've been seeing in the Taylor Foundation, like all over the country, you know, yeah. like, and it's, yeah. and it's one of the reasons why I put the impetus most importantly on small local groups, because you guys are the ones in the cities, in the, in the neighborhoods, in the communities who are seeing it, you know, and that's nothing against the national programs, you know, nothing, nothing against the national organizations. They, they do a lot of good. They do a lot of great things, but sometimes it's almost like an umbrella over your head, but it's still raining inside, you know? So for me, it was important to kind of, to boost the message. So people in your communities that may not even know you guys are here right? to find it. You right. know what I mean? So that's, I mean, that's, to me, that's, it, it's one of the reasons why, you know, it kind of has in common with how you guys start. You know? Right. And, and that first hike, we thought, let's just, yeah, let's just throw this together, right? right? See right. what happens. Yeah. And literally had 1,300 people show up. That's fantastic. It was, it, was un, it was surreal to think that it was just this one late night phone call from another Marine to, another, to a Marine and just, this is where we are. Right. Holy shit, that happened. Literally started sitting on a back porch. Yep. Having th this type of conversation. Right. 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 And, and honestly, that's. The communication that's how easy it should be mm -hmm. you know what i mean and and once people get past that stigma they, that's a, it's like an avalanche it yep. just all comes out you realize it's yep. safe you realize that people are going to understand even if it's not the same yep. circumstances right so i that's awesome man. and and you know like so we've gone to ink the past two years right yep oh man <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't even that, yeah, it is an insane weekend, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Go ahead, man. No, I know you're going to stumble a lot. So, I'll, yeah, it was tough, dude. Like when you talk about police officers and first responders, every every time they get a call, they got to kind of reset. Um, we had to do that same thing for an entire weekend. You know, so many, so many guys, gals, some were active duty, some were veterans, some were um, just family members, but right. they all come up and they all want to talk. So. 
us on our side of the table, we want to talk to as many people as we can, but that's a lot of that's a lot of baggage that we take on. Right. Some of us are able to compartmentalize pretty well, and some of us are, are not able to do it at all. So knowing who needs to talk to the person that is struggling uh, is, is pivotal. And right. You don't get that kind of relationship unless you're there on the scene and you, you experience it. From your perspective, it's, it, I know it's exhausting. It has to be. Um, our, ex- our experience, man, it, I don't know what compares for that amount of traffic in a single weekend having the conversations it's very taxing and it's been it's insane like i and trust me i get it like yeah. i've been like in so many different types of situations yeah. like that whether it's you know whether you're at you know, meet and greets with fans or in con- conventions or doing stuff with the foundation going in and really you know kind of seeing people at at various get-togethers and whatnot like it, it and it's it's exhausting yeah, and man. but the cool thing is is that the second you feel that connection, man, it's almost like it's almost like a drug in a weird yeah, way. Yeah. Like the best kind of drug yeah. you can ever feel because yeah. you immediately like you feel like you've crossed something. It's like there's something there, and you're like, okay, there's one. Yeah. If I only get one today, that's the one I get. Just you one know? more. Yeah, man. Exactly. Just one more. And that's and then one. that's that is how good it can feel yeah. Yeah. doing good things for other people. You know, it's. Uh, we don't judge our success by any dollar amount. Yeah, you need money to to keep the programs moving, to keep right. the support moving. But at the end of the day, man, if I know I save somebody's life, I don't care how much it costs. Right. If we lose, if we get incarceration, if we weren't able to pay for the booth and all of that kind of stuff, we would still go and lose money if we had to. Right. Because the the impacts, those conversations, man. Uh, I won't. I'll tell you a, a very short story about someone I met there the first year that we went. Uh, this this cop and his partner uh, that were on duty for the event walking towards the booth, and I looked down and he's turning his arm over. So he had a purple heart tattoo, and on the back of it, he had you globe and anchor. I was like, "Holy Marine, how are you? Right. Let's have a conversation." Right. Yeah. So when the war started in 2003, uh, a lot of people remember Nazar, or excuse me, uh, Ramani, Fallujah, Baghdad, but no one really talks about Nazaria. Right. Nazaria was the first. Or we got beat. We got beat bad, man. There was a lot of guys that lost their lives trying to get through that area. Um, and he starts telling me his story, and all of a sudden it clicked to me when he mentioned a corner. Just like, wait a minute, are you talking about Nazaria? Right. And then he looked at me and he's like, Yeah, this is the second dude that I've met since I got out in 2006 that was in the same wow. that I was. Right. Right. That paid for the entire thing because him and I shared something that no one that I couldn't share with anyone else. Right. Right. So having that is how we value what right. we do. Right. You know, dollars helps. Absolutely. Well, yeah. But yeah, yeah absolutely. Wanna... <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let's just keep it real. We're going to be honest. And help you know, them yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. You know, you know and, and, we, and we do all this on a very tight budget. I mean, I don't even know if we got 40, 50 grand in the bank. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like right. we are literally grassroots trying to hundred percent volunteers. Yeah, we don't yeah, get none pays. of us take anything in the bank. Um, right. Both these guys are in ET. The amount of time they donate in the IT world yeah. to keep our mission going is insane. Right. You can't put a price tag yeah. on that. Be a videographer's donating time here. Yeah. You know, just because he believes in it. Like it's right. it's Yeah. <laughs> it's humbling, man. It, it is, is right. it is. And you know, and the impact back to the music. That music has on people like i'm sure you see it i'm sure you get a different perspective right than what we get right. so we get the man that song's hitting me hard i'm thinking about so and so like house and chains for me because my buddy that was his that was his thing house yeah. was it like that one of the greatest bands of all time that's yeah, right. his so every time i hear a few songs i'm like man i, I just like you're right back there drinking you know right right and that's the beautiful thing about music is that even though you listen to it currently, it's almost, it's the perfect time machine. It is. It will take you back to a feeling. It will take you back to a moment. It will take you back to a whole year. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That was one of the reasons why I started the foundation is because I was running into so many vets. I was running into so many people who were, who were in it that were like, if it hadn't been for you guys, I wouldn't have gotten through it. You know? And to me, a, it's so humbling, and B, it's like, well, then how can I help you stay here? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, it was a, at that point, it was just as big a reason for me to start the foundation 
as it was to you know try and honor the the legacy of my grandmother and my right. grandfather you know so it was it, it's stuff like that that i will never get sick of hearing you know and i really try to go above and beyond to make sure that they realize like how much i appreciate that you know and even if nobody else does i do you know yeah like you want to talk man yeah, you're good it, i you're good you guys got your stories um we all have our own stories but music wise you know everybody has you said everybody has their that flashback moment and everything right including one of our vips for for tonight oh, uh, wow. she had messaged me directly saying you know thank you for this opportunity and everything that your music has saved your music specifically has saved her multiple times and it's it's just one of those that Everybody's got a connection in some way, shape, form, or another to something. And music almost always is that driving factor whenever we are yep. at incarceration or whatever. Right, you, know, right. you get the most hardcore, you know, rocker out there. Yep. And it's he's in tears right. yep. by yep. the time we're done. And it, it's, they walk up where you can see that. You see their you tags. See it like man, that, man. Right. Yep. Their whole body language tells the story right. from 30 feet out. You can just see it. And yet, you just, that when we're done, you, I mean, you can watch the weight fall on the shoulders. Literally wash your shoulders just and they relax. It's, it's insane the amount of people walk. We call it the back porch. DWP does a great job of giving us this little grassy area That's that awesome. we can go behind. Ashley and Haley and uh, Kelly have done phenomenal work getting Absolutely. us back there. Right. We can take them back there. It's quiet. There's You can't see back there. They break down, they talk, we, we yep. all just, you know, what we're doing, right? <laughs> and, you know, we get them there and they have that minute, they break down, they have the conversation after, and you can literally, like he said, you can see their body just, yeah, their face change, like they literally take off a rucksack and just set them. Sometimes that's the first step, yeah, yeah. And, and, it's, and that's a great first step, yeah. you know, you, you never, it's, we always call it the, par the parachute thing. You don't know if that thing's going to open until you pull the cord. Right. But you can't do that until you jump. Yeah. You have to jump. You know, like even if it's it's even if there's no guarantee, you have to do. You have to. You have to know. You have to risk to be able to get it. You know. You do. And sometimes that fear is even bigger than the the, the fear of of the physical. You know. But that and a lot of that has to do with the way we we were raised. A lot of that has to do with. Generations, man. yeah, yeah. Gen thing. I mean, it's it it's all in the messaging that has been out there for years. You know, right. even though that messaging is starting to change, you're still fighting hundreds yeah. of years of it. You know, yeah. we're just now getting to the point where we can go. It's okay. Right. It's okay. You know, and that's the biggest. It's the biggest hurdle yeah. to try and get people. It's. I mean, you know, I have cousins who were Marines. You know, and for talking to them. They still have this, like almost like arm's length of it. It's like it's over there, and I don't want to. Yep. Do you, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, so, it, so it's so getting them to open up about yep. that stuff is you know it's huge, and it's a massive step. And if one person can do it, yep. and it's two, two is four, four is eight. You okay. know, it's all exponential. Yep. Yep. That's a good perspective. Yeah. I've never really thought about that. <laughs> it did. It, it took me, and I've known him forever, a long time. It took me these past seven years of really just beating the absolute out of it and that to me. Like, bro, you're not in a good spot. Like, you right. can't talk about this. You can't keep up. Like, literally. Yeah. It's know? been a minute. And right. uh, he went on a retreat last year at Oak Island. Yeah. Uh, North Carolina. Right. And, uh, uh, I it was know, good. I don't know what Kool-Aid he drank, man. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it was good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> I, I can promise you. That weekend in October, he's a different person. I mean, he's been getting there, but whatever. Right. Again, he was having this Jamie there's wife, you know, or the setting, yeah. or what, whatever. Man, he's. You know, it, it's it, there's a lot that goes to it. Um, I like that. There's a couple of phrases that we all commonly use. If you're going to talk about it, be about it, right? Right. If right. If you're going to say it, to follow through. Absolutely. Um, you know, you, you think about. <laughs> got him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it yeah. took me six years after I got out to ask for help. Right. You couldn't tell me nothing, and I would argue. 
I'm just are you pissed off at the whole world and for what? For my pride. Right. I was too proud to ask for help. Like, Marine, I've been in combat out. I'm okay. I'm all right. Out. It took me a long time, but I put my wife and kids through. Never physically touched them, but mentally, I don't know why she stayed married to me so long. Right. I don't know. Same. You know, and and the the phrase that I really want to drive home is your strength comes from your story. You tell your story, you get stronger each time you say it. One hundred percent. Yeah. I, and the the guy I, I heard say that once, I was like, I don't think he realized what you're saying, and he didn't initially. And then when I talked to him, and when I told him what I was thinking about that story, you know, it changes. Yeah. Right. The more you tell your story, you get a little bit stronger each time. I, I I don't think I'll ever be able to completely publicly tell my story. I don't think I'll ever get there. There's right. probably a couple of dozen people that know my entire story. Right. And uh, I'm okay with that. Right. But it's taken me a long time to get to that uh, place of peace. Right. Right. So I'm going to go with that story thing because i got to tell you this. The board. Okay. You guys have to steer. Oh, oh, yeah. my God, bro. First of all, I mean that respectfully. <laughs> I can't take. Hey, so, I mean that's the most credit. respectful way. I can't take credit for that. So, that was so Mary Moss. Here's what she's yeah. my guardian angel. So, okay, so here's she's awesome. Yeah, the board's up there, and I'm like, it's blank. Right. I'm the first one to do it. Oh. Yeah. So, you went, <laughs> so you went in. All right. Yeah, and gotcha. I'm like, you know what? I've been I've been working on myself. I'm end up like I can do this, right? Yep. Hit that first string, and I'm like, it just. Oh. Right, right. These two are there, and I'm working through it. I feel the hands on my back, like, you know what? I got you. Figure yeah. to finish it out. So you finish it out with the three colors, man. And I step back and I look at it, and I'm like, am I that up? Yeah, buddy. Because I'm the only one on it. Right. Am I that up? And why is it that my family is a problem and my healing spot? Right. Why is it that music is, a, you know, why are all these things so. Interconnected, yeah. Going like with yeah. my head, right? So I had to walk. I like I just I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go. So I leave, and I thought, you know what? It's been four hours or so. I'm gonna go back. I walk up, Mary's like, "You good?" I'm like, Come on. I just want to look. And I look, and then I see all these spots that are like heavy with right. And I'm like, "Are we really just one peg away? We're, right, the next person. Like, are we this? Right, we are." And that helps, man. Perspective. It, it, yeah, yeah. It, it did, because I was like, I'm not that far off. Right. I'm not. Like, when you see it in a different perspective, right? Right. And the whole time, man, I was MF and you, boy. <laughs> I was. I was like, that guy. And then I, I mean, like, I get it from a lot of places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to it, you know, it's all good. I meant that in a good way, right? You know? <laughs> right, it was exactly. I thought it was, like, your idea. And then, like, talking to Mary, and she's like, no, you know, we talked about this and this and that and the other. Sure, we threw a bunch of ideas yeah, at each yeah, other. Yeah, that's what she said. That one really resonated. I was yeah, like, that's, that's an idea. beautiful. And I'm yeah, going to tell you, I hope, I hope they don't. She says she keeps them. I hope you guys do. Put them in the, the museum. Yeah, or something, you need, man. Well, we'll definitely do something, man. You know, because yeah, that's cause important. We really found out that that really resonated with oh, like yeah. a lot of people. You know, yeah. um, that I mean, that to me, it was it was <clears throat> so simple. Yeah, and yet it was fucking well, profound. I know? was so mad. <laughs> you know, <laughs> guys, I was yeah. so mad. I, 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 I didn't mind his last day because I was like crying. I was yeah. mad. I was upset. I was Every happy, emotion. Like, yeah. Right, right. And then we had some other people that we knew personally, like we were begging them to like, yeah. go, go do this, man. Once you get through it, step back, right, and see it, like it'll make sense, right. So kudos, man. That's that's, that's awesome. awesome. Let that's me ask stuff. you guys. First of all, thank you for that. I appreciate that because that's awesome. I I love hearing the feedback because yeah. we're all about that because yeah. the feedback helps us. Yeah. You know, kind of get better get get into yeah. it you know let's get into it yeah you know? we're right um how has this and the whole process helped you guys communicate with families you know we talk um, about that because it's it's no one of the things that yeah. i didn't even realize was an issue until after i started the foundation mm -hmm. I, was, I was talking to um uh some some organizations actually in canada and they were telling me that they had specific organizations to help the families, yep. you know, and I was like, we, we need to kind of put that together, yep. you know, 
So has this helped you guys be able to communicate and kind of cross that bridge? Oh, oh yeah. definitely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's very therapeutic for all of us. Yeah, absolutely. It, and just being able to pick back off what Jason said is being able to tell your story, right. being able to tear down your own interior walls. Right. You know, you're holding back so much anger and pain and everything, and that bottles up. Until you can be honest with yourself, you know, self-care is health care. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to take care of yourself before you can take care of anybody else. Right. I'm a father of six. Right. You know, I've got six kids that I have to worry about. One that's just recently enlisted in the army and whatnot. And in order to be able to take care of them, I have to be able to take care of myself. I have to make sure that my mental state is solid before I can even think about having right. conversations with my family, let alone complete strangers. Right. Yep. And it, it's, you have to have that ability to open up and just be there for them. Right. And I'd say two years ago about, we kind of had a, like, a, oh, wow. Because we started having family members say, well, how come, why can't we go on these Oh, things? right, okay. And we were like, all right, we're changing that now, yep. like yeah. today. Yeah. So from now on, anything we do, we tip always say family event. Like if you want to go fishing in the Carolinas, for example, right? we can take four on a boat. Take right. you, your wife, and two kids. We got you. Go. Go enjoy the day. Go take your four Check hours out. and have at it. You want to go racing? Guess what? Bring your, bring, bring your daughter, your son. You right. get in the pitch. You get to sit in the car. Like yep. we literally had a guy... <laughs> That was active duty Navy, a friend of a friend, oh boy. and they put him on the gas can for the car. Uh -oh. In the suit. <laughs> That's like, hey, awesome. You're a pretty big fella. <laughs> <laughs> can you lift 100 pounds? Put it in uh, hole. Guess what? Stick it in a hole. <laughs> 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 It'll come out when it's full. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice. those are the types of things that are, yeah. you know, that we realize like we absolutely have to include, and we do yeah. always make sure that we like say, hey, look. If you want to go solo, make sure you say solo. If you want to bring your best buddy, right? Yep. If you want to bring your significant other, who it is? Like we don't give it, we don't care. Bring whoever that person is that's your person, right? So you two can have that day. You go out on a boat. I've watched people go out on a boat for two hours and not even fish, right? And the captain's like, "What do you want me to do?" And I'm like, "Just keep trolling, man." Yeah, right, right. So I'm gonna, around. Listen, if they don't put bowls in the water and they had four hours, I'm good. Right. For me. Yeah. I'm good. Exactly. A little bit of peace. Yeah. So little, it like, has yeah. impacted us that way. It's helped me personally. You've heard his story. It's helped me talk to my wife as well. Again, I don't know how they do it. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody <laughs> understands how, yeah. how or why it works, but it just does. We, right. And our I, and the way never, we nobody will ever understand. Yeah, and the way we protect ourselves yeah. with dark humor and dark things like yeah. right. You know, and, and then like, and they put up with it. I'm like, man, sometimes I just, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Why would you listen to me? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Because right you, know? you always get the man who's stupid. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, yeah. all right, I'll be But <laughs> the important thing is, is that you're talking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think that's, that's yeah. the biggest thing. Yeah. It is. is it's the silence that they can't react to. Right. You know what I'm saying? They can't, they can't understand that wall. Yeah. Yeah. But once you start to talk, that's all they want. Yeah. You know, like yeah. it's because I mean, my wife's the same way, man. Like when I, when my depression hits and it always goes super dark and the numbness comes on that yeah. people can't understand unless mm -hmm. they're in it. Yep. I give her a heads up right away. And she's the first person that I've ever been able to do that. And she goes, okay, I've got never had that in my life. Wow. Yeah. So when I tell it, when I was describing it to her, she was like, okay, so what, but what is it? And I'm like, it's I, it's hard to explain. And so I just started walking through it in like almost the simplest terms. It's like, imagine being underwater mm -hmm. with earplugs in and all you can see is that tiny light at the top of the phone. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you don't know when you're going to come back up. Yes, you, you, you will. You will. But it's going to take a minute. You know, like that because the heavier Man. you feel. There used to be moments where I would just lay on the floor and just, just so I knew I had the, the earth at my back and I would just, and I would do it. I'd do it the right, but no matter who the f was around, yeah. Yeah. cause you know how it is when you have to put your face yeah. on yeah. Yeah. and it's yeah. tough. Like it's, yeah. you, you, you know, you're going to have to get through social situations. So you yeah. just kind of go, all right, here we go. Are you ready to do this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like, you and, you just, smile on. and it's tough, man. You yeah. know? So there would be moments where I would just lay in the middle of my living room and just yeah. go, hey, I'm not going to.
Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not ready okay. to get up, and I would stay there for hours. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it's it's important to know that your significant other, whoever that is, mm -hmm. has your back, mm -hmm. or at least is willing to understand yeah. yep. the 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 feeling you're going to have to deal with. You know, there's not always going to be the faucet running. It's right. not always going to be communication, but when you come back, it will always be there. Yep. You ever done EMDR therapy? Now? I've not. Um, try it. Yeah, you think so? I, so I did it. Um, okay. I went to the Marcus Institute, Colorado, for TBI treatment. Okay. And um, yeah, yeah, you can try it. Okay. Interesting. I would highly recommend it. Um, It'll help I mean, I'll but let's quote yeah. my wife. I'll do anything twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it, it helps with that disassociation where you feel like you're leaving. Yeah. Right. Um, it'll work two ways, so don't get freaked out if you try it. Honestly, okay. Okay. Uh, you'll feel like either really light, and that means you're disassociating, like you're blocking yourself right. and not letting yourself into it. Right. You got to really be open to it. Uh, the second time I did it, I felt like I was almost being pushed into the chair. Wow. And that time when I got done with that session, I felt. I can't even explain it. No. So I would highly recommend. It. Okay. Or at least give it a shot. All right. I'll definitely look at it. But give it two, because the first one, like right. I said, you, <laughs> right. it, yeah, seriously, though, you might, you might feel like you just yeah. go out of your body. No, that's interesting though. And yeah, the second right. one, you'll feel yeah. like you're grounded, which is kind oh, of grounding. Right. Yeah. Groundings. And I've learned. I do a lot of yes. Yeah. Right. I, I yeah. I mean, <laughs> I. You know, that was one of the the low points about being an addict, you mm -hmm. know, was the fact that you were escaping from it, but you were stuck in this body anyway. So yeah. you would come back and you would be worse off than you were. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, trust me, I understand that yeah. more than you know. 28 pills a day. Yeah. 20 milligram oxy, 10 milligram oxy, 5 milligram Percocet, Toradol, Tramadol, Ambien, Gabapentin. Right. You, you mix the cocktail. Yeah. I was taking it. Yeah. I've burned through 90 days of 20 milligram oxys and 19 days. I was gonna say, yeah, I mean, you're, you're compiling them, yeah. Exactly. And I was playing VA and civilian doctor at the time because you could do that, right? And then my civilian doctor, I couldn't remember, and I was like, I need a refill. And she's like, You're about a week and a half early, what are you doing, right? And she goes, I'm not doing this anymore, right? And then I had a friend, music business, also, and he helped me with CBD and marijuana, and I'm very open about it, right. Uh, had it not been for him there too, doing what he did, and me popping the pills, I probably just ate my body up. Right. And I was, thought I was smart enough to chase it without knowledge. Mm. Yeah. It's a great cocktail. Yeah. It's a good yeah. 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 Exactly. Seems that way. Right. Great plan at that time. Yeah. yeah. It's like, in the moment. Yeah. And, and then I knocked over the whole tray of pills and I looked at them. Right. It's tough, man. That's a hard moment. Myself. Because then it's it's terrifying. Yeah, looking at it, going, well, what's the alternative? Because you realize, you know, that this is not good. Yeah. You know, it's dangerous. Yeah. You know, it's going to kill you. But then the alternative is, oh, that means I have to feel. Yeah, and I have to embrace on exactly. Yeah. And until that mo until you're ready, you'll never, yeah. you'll never, you'll never do it. You're yeah. like, you know what? I'm just going to clean this up. And we're going to get yeah. right back on. Yep. Yeah. The terror train. Yep. And it's tough. You know? Yeah, it was. A few months of yeah. Anyway. Well, I'm glad you're here, man. I'm glad I'm you're glad here. to be here with you yeah, guys. Exactly. I really appreciate you guys like sharing this with me. Yeah. But yeah, so that's the save twenty two side of it. Yeah. <laughs>